Yes, A Norman, is it the Norman? Yes, it's me. What about your oh, your mates? Your mates, your trucky <laughs> mates driving unsafe <laughs> oil tankers, hey? Yeah, you don't say anything about your mates, do you? What you, what you know. wait, 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 excuse me, Norman. We just to, if you're talking about coots, we yes. just uh, we just talked about them. We talked yes. about them yesterday, and yes. I said uh, yesterday very clearly, but obviously weren't listening yesterday, that their license should be totally revoked. That uh, their reputation, it would appear, is that bad until they tidy up their act. The uh, the license should be totally revoked. Can't do much better than that, can I? Yes, I do listen. I'm not one of those people who bring up the you know your drunks, you know, or your your kids on school holidays, your mats and all that stuff who ring up on school holidays with their parents get them the ring. I do listen, and I do. Say, you don't blame the actual truck drivers, do you? you blame the company. But your truck no, no, driving no. mates. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 Norman, just hang on a little bit. We don't blame the driver. When it oh. is just, just hang on, when it is uh, ascertained by the police and people who know better, even believe it or not, than you, that the truck is at fault. How can you blame the driver when the truck is deemed to be at fault? You telling me they don't know that the, that the speed limit has been lifted off or something's wrong with They're supposed to love their truck. They inspect their truck. They you're do. Telling me, you're telling me your trucky mates don't know that their truck is not as defective. You're kidding me. They're driving dangerous, putting other people at risk. Don't just blame the company. Blame the driver. Hang, hang, hang on, I'm not, I'm not blaming the company. Yeah, but blame the drivers. Blame everybody. Don't just blame the one section. Well, well, your well, trucky mate, all your trucky mates listen, out there. Listen, lay, lay, lay off this mate's business. Uh, you know, I know a lot of truckies and I like a lot of truckies, but there are a lot of cowboys out there and I'm the first to uh, admit it. So don't, don't collectively yeah. call them my trucky mates. I think truckies are great fellas and I love them and I know we have a lot of people follow the program because of my affection for the trucks and the truck drivers and the songs that we've sung about them and everything else. But, you, I, but, I, but I don't defend every single solitary truck driver on the road, Norman. Yeah, but you task them. They inspect their trucks. They know they're driving defective uh, defective trucks. So please, don't take the blame off them. Hey, John, were you on the ocean or, or during the, you know, in your 44-foot yacht on the ocean with the Navy displays? <laughs> well, I've got, got visions of you like Thurston Howe the Thor the Third, you know, sitting up there with a little cap on with your barnacle face. You know, sitting up there. I, I bet, I bet, I bet you've got a, you, you don't even steer the boat yourself. You've got a, you've got a, you've got a paid crew that does it for you, do you? Hey, and hey, you sit hey, up there hey, with your little, hey, your little hat on, you know, and your big barnacle all over your face sitting out on the, on the deck, be, hey? Don't. Don't be rude about my face. It does look like target press. It's, I'm the first to admit. But don't, but don't say I've got barnacles on so my face, you, Norman. Don't so, be, so, don't so be nasty. On, so were you on the ocean? Were you on the harbour, John? On your on your yacht? Were you? And did you say it was forty-four feet? You said you told me it was forty-four foot, John. Come no. on. No, no, no. It's bigger than that. Oh, it's bigger than that. Yeah. Oh, come on, tell us. It's. I think about fifty-two. Oh, it's fifty-two. It's grown. It's grown another eight foot, huh? Yeah. See, good. So well, well, that. well worked you, out, Norman. You, you had to ask last week. Your big brain. You know, you had to, you had to ask your 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 your, your, <laughs> your ladies there. How, how 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 long was my boat? You don't even know, do you? I do now, because I asked oh, the... You, you, had to, you had to find out after me prompting you. Yes, you that's right. How, how, I don't know, I don't know how, how... big is my boat? How I, big I, is my Norman, boat? I really don't know how I could do the program without your help. I know, I know. I just keep prompting you, don't I? I and, you're very, and you're very handy to have, you know. Oh, yes, no I, argument there. But you haven't answered my question. What Were is... you on the harbour? No. Oh, tell me. Oh, you missed out. I thought you must be, because, you know, all those... Um, those ads you had for the New South Wales Maritime where we had to put up the John O prawn allure for every day for a year, five times a day, you know, ten times a day, every ad break, John O prawn allure, so you must have some contra deals with the New South Wales Maritime to moor your boat somewhere. I but don't know, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. You I just... know, you, you don't listen to your ads, do you? You just we... wrote, Norman, you, you're, just, you're just a raving idiot. You just no, no, rave. No. You don't listen to your ads, do you? We've got to put up with the same ads for one solution in Patonga Beach and all these no, I, of ads that we have to put up with because you don't have any sponsors. I know you've got to replay the same ones over <laughs> and over and over again. Oh, Norman, go away. God, you're a pain in the ass. You really are. You're a nasty little oh, grub. You get, oh, you're a nasty little grub. Hey, you big rich bastard sitting on the ocean there with your barnacle <laughs> face and your 52-foot yacht. 
Yeah, sitting, oh, yeah. sit, with my barnacle face yeah. sitting on the ocean. I, I didn't have to go out on the boat because I actually had to walk out onto my terrace and all the boats were there. Oh, there, there you go. I forgot, yeah, I forgot your little, your little your apartment right near the naval yards. You must have sat there. Did you charge friends over to come and watch the fireworks, John? Yep, hey, yep. You sit there and watch the fireworks on your balcony. Hey, a private little display just for you. And it was hey. wonderful, and, and friends that came over loved it as well. It's nice to be able to have nice things and share them with other people, Norman. Oh, all your rich, all rich buddies, eh, John? Hey, hey no, the, Norman. Oh, oh yeah, we had a big booze n- up, hey, John? No, hey. Norman, what's the matter with being rich? Oh, come off it, John. Yeah, it's okay. No, Norman. No, no, no Norman, you, you little when... jerk. You come off it. What's the no, matter? No, you, you What's the matter it. with being rich? No, no. When you put, pretend that you know what it's like to be like one of us. No. One look, of the people oh, yes, I, oh, yes, I... Oh, yes, I... Well, I've never been like one of you because I'm no, not no, a no. despicable little jerk with a nasty, narrow little mind. No, I've, ne- no, I've no, never no. been that, yeah, so I've never been like one of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About that. 60 years ago, you might have been, you know, when you tell your stories of jackarooing, you know, and going out in the country and mixing it. My hey, God, you really, you really are a very staunch listener. Hey, yeah, John, but now you're, now you're 85. That's about 70 <laughs> oh, no. years ago or something. Okay? I'll tell you what, I wish I was 85 and felt the way I do. It would be quite an achievement. Age, you've got to remember, uh, age is something that uh, we achieve And we should be very grateful for age because the older we are, the longer we've lived in this wonderful world and the more people that we've been able to meet, except people like you. Oh, John, you're you're boring talking about this. No, 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 you're you're boring, boring, boring. uh, Norman. You're just just a nasty little human being. Well, I don't know. I've assumed you're a human being, are you? John, why don't you... make another album. You know, you try to put your music on and you think everybody out there loves it. Why don't you make another album and put your ugly looking face on it like Hadley and Jones do, you know? <laughs> Nobody would buy your albums anymore because all the record is, your taste is up your bum. It's disgusting, oh, all the on. rubbish you put oh, on there. Come on, come on, Norman. You know, Norman. Just, uh, you know Norman, jealousy is a dreadful curse. Oh, yeah, because your albums wouldn't sell as good as Hadley's and Jones's anymore, did they? No, I have no idea. I didn't even know that they they oh. made albums. Oh, they, they copy. You've, treat, you've taught him well, John. You've taught Hadley, Hadley really well. You brought I him didn't, up. I didn't, I didn't know that Ray had made an album. Oh, no, no, he does all the things you do. You know, puts his face on things, you know. Well, at least, uh, at least you're aware of it. Oh, I'm aware of it, John. Oh, I'm I, aware of it. Yes, I'm aware of it. Hey, what about having another go at Greenpeace or something like that? Some people that do good in the world. Not like you, yo, but Hey, at least again, trying to say, do something, but you know, you have a go at Greenpeace. 30, 30 people getting arrested, you don't care. They hey. save your whales, the whales that you love, John. I do love whales. Yeah, you love whales, and these people out there trying to save them, and all you do is put oh, a yeah, crap but, on them. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. Only when they're bad, when they're stupidly behaved, when they get on little bore little surfboards and get oh, right well, up and next and to and great and big. And anyway, no, anyway, any, but, anyway, Norman, you? enough is enough. I mean, you really are just a crashing bore. Oh, I'm really hurt, John. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Yeah, just go and play one of the other crappy songs now, John. Bye. <laughs> Isn't he charming? <laughs> I wonder, does he really like himself? I wonder, does he ever think, or oh, maybe I was a bit stupid there? Because that's what you are, Norman. You're stupid. You say stupid things. And, uh, you know, jealousy is a curse. I'm a lucky man. I've done fairly well. And I've worked very, very hard in order to do very well, because I've always been determined. And I think Norman is determined too. Determined to be the biggest pain in the ass on the face of the earth. Give us a call. Tell us where we're all... We're all laughing about Norman. Norman, really, just it's time you stopped making a fool of yourself. I suspect that you are a grown human being. I almost said man, but I suspect you are a grown human being. And really, you should learn to behave yourself a little bit better than that. It's the jealousy thing, Norman. I'm a very, very lucky man. I'm the first to to admit I'm a very lucky man. Uh, I was born with one thing that was worthwhile, and that happened to be a voice. I worked on that very hard for a very long period of time, not the voice, what I did with it. And Norman, I've been fortunate. I'm the first to admit it. I'm very, very fortunate. And you're right. I am next to the naval base. And I was sitting on my balcony looking out onto Sydney Harbour. But I don't think there'd be too many people out there listening who wouldn't think, well, 
you did work hard and you might be a pain in the backside and you might be this and you might be that but you did work hard and you got what you wanted to get so Norman go, you know go away uh, just look in the mirror oh no don't do that <laughs> <laughs>